Imperial Stormtrooper types ranked. Number 12. Stormtroopers. Stormtroopers were the Galactic Empire's basic trooper. Their main weapon was an E-11 blaster and they wore plain white armour with the Empire's emblem on it. And whilst their armour gave them a little protection, such as the helmet's ability to provide troopers with filtered air and improved vision, the armour was mainly for show in order to instill fear on the Empire's subjects. Number 11. Sand Troopers. As the name suggests, sand troopers were stormtroopers that specialised on sandy planets such as Tatooine. They would often be seen riding dewbacks. Their armour had cooling fans and their helmet had a sand filter. They used blasters such as RT-97Cs and E-11s. Number 10. Cold Assault Troopers. Imperial Cold Assault Troopers, or more commonly known as Snow Troopers, specialised in battle on cold planets such as Hoth. They wore a white body cloth to provide camouflage and heat. Each individual trooper was equipped with terrain grip boots and a utility belt. The utility belt contained ion flares, grappling hooks, a survival pack, food rations, and extra blaster ammo. Weapons a snow trooper used was a basic E-11 blaster, an SE-14R light repeating blaster, two concussion grenades, and one fragmentation grenade. Number 9. ADAT Pilots now before I continue, I'd just like to make it clear that it is ATAT and not AT-AT, because J.J. Abrahams himself said on the set of Force Awakens, ATAT. But anyway, ATAT pilots, as the name suggests, piloted ATATs. They had a suit made to withstand cold temperatures, a life support pack attached to their chest piece, and often carried with them a blaster pistol and therm thermal detonators. Number 8. ATST Drivers. Okay, now this one has said ATST because... That just doesn't work. Okay, so now that the acronyms are all done, ATST drivers wore a, a light grey jumpsuit with basic armour plating underneath. They wore calf high boots and fire resistant gloves. Though ATST drivers were expected to never leave the ATST, but in case things changed, the drivers carried a blaster, grenades, a comlink, and emergency flares. Number 7 Imperial Starfighter Pilots. Starfighter pilots, more commonly known as TIE fighter pilots, were stormtroopers that were trained to fly all the TIE line spacecraft. They had a life support system and gravity pressure boots. Some pilots carried with them an E-11 blaster or a blaster pistol. Number 6. Shore Troopers. Shore Troopers were a variant of stormtrooper that were taught to fight in tropical climates. They wielded both an E-11 blaster and an E-22 double-barreled rifle. They also had a thermal imploder. Normal shore troopers had tan armour with a red band on the right arm. Number 5. Scout Troopers Scout Troopers were Imperial troopers that specialised in ranged combat with the DL-16X blaster. Their armour was lighter than most Stormtrooper variants because Scout Troopers often rode 74Z speeder bikes. When Scouts were put into melee combat against surviving Jedi or other enemies, they used an electro baton. Number 4. Jump Troopers Jump Troopers, also known as Rocket Troopers, were Imperial Stormtroopers that had a jetpack that they could use to hover in midair and shoot enemies, or cover open areas very fast. They had burst shields and RT-97C or E-11 blasters. Unlike the other specialised troopers on this list, Jump Troopers wore the basic Stormtrooper armour, but at times had two tubes plugged into the helmet. Number 3. Shadow Troopers Shadow Troopers were Imperial Troopers that wore black armour but could avoid scanners and become much harder to spot by using Stygian tri Triprismatic Polymer. They used T-21 Heavy Blasters and Flash Grenades against their rivals. Number 2. Death Troopers Death Troopers were elite stormtroopers that were mainly assigned to protect, protect important people working for the Empire, such as Thrawn and Krennic. Emperor Palpatine named them himself to capitalise on rumours of undead stormtroopers. Death Troopers blasters range from SE-14R light blasters to DL-19 heavy blasters. Their grenades varied from detonators to imploders. Number 1. Purge Troopers Purge Troopers were Imperial forces that were trained to hunt down and kill the remaining Jedi after Order 66. They were a they wore a black and red lightsaber resistance armour, and their main melee weapons were electro-buttons, electro-staffs, and electro-hammers. 
They did also have weapons that they used for ranged combat, such as some DC-15 series blasters and E-11s. I'm going to end the video here, I'll probably make a part 2 with some lesser known troopers and I may do a clone army version. Thank you for watching.